Now, tonight, it's very exciting. Four remaining queens battle it out in the grand final of RuPaul's Drag Race UK. Bing, bang, bong, Drag Race UK finalists, Lawrence Cheney and Ellie Diamond join me now. Let's, Kiki, I am so excited to talk to you both. I really am. Congratulations, first of all, for getting in the final. And, and you know, looking so beautiful. Well, Just slightly, glad. you know, <laughs> some glam. And I'll tell you what, Lawrence, RuPaul adores you. She's got this thing where every time she says your name, she goes, Lawrence Cheney, like that. Well, I, my mind is still blown because I, I remember, you know, I'm such a huge RuPaul fan. I stole a cardboard cutout off a bus of RuPaul when I was like 17 and I never looked back and never did I think I'd actually meet RuPaul in person. Um, so it is a very bizarre full circle moment and I love uh, now in supermarkets, everyone just shouts at me, Lawrence Cheney. I think they probably <laughs> will. I think they probably will. Elliot, of course, we did the whole kind of morning glory thing where I came along as a judge and I, and I sort of, well, I basically just laughed. I thought you were hilarious. And you had to do a sort of show, which was incredible. It really was. And you are only a baby. You were 21 when all of this process started. You just turned 22. Yeah, we were filming the show. I was 21. I was the youngest one that's on the team, certainly. But um, we made it to the top four. No badges, but that's OK. <laughs> I know. I know that is a sore point because you get a Rue Peter badge if you win a challenge. You know, win the big challenge. But hey, you know what? You might win the ultimate one. Who knows? Nobody knows because you guys don't know. You, you have no idea what's what's going to happen. I mean, you, you we, we just don't know. This is the thing. Your makeup is exquisite, both of you. Absolutely gorgeous. Is this, I mean, Ellie, especially for you, you really paint your face. It's, yeah. it's, it's I mean, you look nothing like yourself. <laughs> I, really like, I like on having that, the But two. on that first, you know on that first show where we actually see you as fellas, you never, you what? <laughs> it's just, it's quite remarkable. I mean, it's that self-taught, Ellie. Do you, did you just manage to do that all by yourself? Yeah, I mean, the first ever sort of experience I had with drag was like taking my aunt's um, face paints and just using like a blue for eyeshadow, red for lip and like a brown for the contour and black for liner. But then um, I just watched YouTube tutorials. Like that's what they're there for to, watch them, learn how to do it, and then um, do it yourself. Exactly. And look at some of these looks. I loved that you dressed, you know, being, I mean, Dundee is very, very close to my heart, as you know, and I love yep. that you dressed as Dennis the Blinking Menace. That was extraordinary, <laughs> wasn't it? Thank you. Yeah, well, well I was, when I was creating the looks for the show, my mum was like, do jam and journalism. That's what Dundee's known for. But my inspirations come from like cartoon characters and like um, anything big over the top and dramatic. So I was like, I'm going to take inspiration from the Beano magazine, uh, comic book magazine and do Dennis Menace. See, why the hell not? That's the thing, Lawrence, that is the thing about drag. It is, so what we've learned, you know, from watching RuPaul and particularly the UK version is the... The creativity is quite remarkable. You literally make something from nothing. It's that, that is that is how drag becomes what it is, you know. Drag is that art of, you know, being a nobody and becoming a somebody, taking nothing and turning it into something. It's something very magical. It really is. I mean, I remember when I, I got dragged up last, last year uh, to yeah. celebrate my 60th as, as Morning Gloria. Now, I know I've said this before, but I am not very good at getting my photograph taken. But when I was like that, I suddenly became this diva. It, it was quite <laughs> extraordinary, in a good way, not in a horrible way. It was, it was quite, quite remarkable. And there is a big power there, isn't there? Do you feel that? <laughs> It's a crazy difference, you know, out of drag, I'm never considered, you know, conventionally attractive. And I'm very the same as, as you, Lorraine, where, oh, taking pictures out of drag, it just seems that such a faff and you don't know how to smile, where to put your hands, where, you know, all this kind of stuff. But something about being in drag, you're not afraid to make a fool of yourself because it's not you there is a barrier there right. you, you know so you're able to have a laugh and just go oh let's play around with some poses and oh point you know 
And I also think as well, I mean, I don't know if you agree, Ellie, but the show, of course, it's entertaining, it's sassy, it's, it's all of these things, it's whip smart, but it's also got real heart. I mean, we, we hear your stories, we hear the fact that the support you've had, the battles that you've had to fight, you know, about bullying and maybe certain members of your family not understanding. And that's really important because you're, you're shining a light, not, not just to, to people who might be going through difficulties with sexuality, but just people generally you know having a bad time yeah literally well that that's the magic of the show like you get you get to go on there and you get to use that platform to share your story share your experiences in hope that someone out there that is watching you on tv resonates with that and goes well if they can do it so can i you know well the thing is about you two you've really put the spotlight particularly on drag in in scotland i mean i'm sure you will though you know that there'll be there'll be little guys sitting there little boys will be sitting there thinking do you know what? I'd love to do that. And you, the way that RuPaul's inspired you to, you'll be inspired in everyone else. And that's fantastic, isn't it? Definitely. Bizarre full circle moment that. That is, that is crazy to think of, you know? It's, in, it's just brilliant. Now, look, are you up for this? Because I'm going to put you two to the test. Never mind the big final tonight. This is the real test, right? It's in our okay. game. Oh, the, no. Are you ready? Now, look, yeah. the rules of which queen's speech, you have to guess which queen gave these words of wisdom. Now, it can be Queen of Drag RuPaul, Queen of Music Beyonce, the actual queen, or me. Good luck, and don't forget the rules. OK. <laughs> Ellie, here's the yeah. quote. When you become the image of your own imagination, it's the most powerful thing you could ever do. Which queen said that? RuPaul. RuPaul is right. Oh, Ellie's in the lead. Lawrence, honorary gay, I can retire now. My life is complete. Eh, uh, eh, uh, eh, uh, RuPaul. It was no. me! It was me when I was made an honorary gay. <laughs> Ellie, you could really go into the lead now. Here we go, Ellie. I don't like to gamble, but if there's one thing I'm willing to bet on, it's myself. Uh, Beyonce. Oh, you know your queens. You know your queens. Lawrence. Lawrence, you have to get this right. For the glory of Glasgow. The pressure is on <laughs> my, jeez. Who said this? For me, Heaven is likely to be a bit of a come down. Do RuPaul? <laughs> you can't just keep saying RuPaul for everything. It was Her Majesty, the Queen. Ellie, Dundee has it. Dundee has I mean, it. Absolutely, I mean... it does. You two have entertained us in such a brilliant way. I've loved every minute of the show. I was honoured to be part of it. I really was. And I can't wait to see what both of you are going to do next. Well, thank you for coming on the show and being such a light, genuinely. Oh, thank you so much. It's, it's going to be great tonight. Good luck to both of you. I think you've both thank won you. already. You've just both won already. You have. You absolutely have. But the Drag Race UK final tonight from 7 o'clock on the BBC iPlayer. And remember, if you don't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love someone else? Can I get an amen? Amen! amen. Thank you! Amen. I've always wanted to do that. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.